Hello again everyone, welcome back to Hacking History from Malta again, final day of Malta. Today is going to be a much more relaxed video again, uh, mainly just sort of museum and kind of sightseeing stuff so just on my way to the bus to go to a town or a city called Medina, that's where we're heading today. Medina and Rabat. And then we're going to head into the letter later, well it's still light though, so we're going to be able to see all that stuff. And I'm in a bit of a rush because the bus leaves in like 10 minutes. So I'm going to make sure I get there first. Sleeping on top of that. Fucking hell. Ridiculous. Squeeze it is gonna do. There's a car right there as well. Oh my god. You can do it. You can do it bus driver. He's done it. So here we are in Medina. This is the ancient, well, medieval city of Medina. It is supposedly one of the best preserved medieval cities still around in Europe. It's one of these old walled cities. Um, views from up here are great as well. I don't have anything specifically planned. I just wanted to check this out, check out Medina, and then eventually head back to Valletta for the rest of the day. Um, yeah, so I'm going to check out this beautiful old medieval city and if it looks like I am sunburned that's because I kind of am but not actually on my face which my, I, do, I do usually just go red anyway I don't really tan I just go red but uh, yesterday being in the sun walking for 10 hours even though it was only like 18 degrees or something um, I stupidly forgot sun cream and then I think just being out in it that long, um, it basically caught me. So it's caught me on my face, which is like, but fine, like it's not actual sunburn. Um, but on the back of my neck and my arms, slightly, a little bit sunburn. I don't think it's too bad. Um, oh wow, look at this. These old ruins here. Don't know what these are. Probably some an older piece before the medieval structure, which I'm pretty sure this was mainly built by the Knights of St. John. Uh, I'm at this going to some information boards, we'll check it out. Gorgeous up here though, great views. This is Medina and then this is Rabat, which I think is the modern area, Rabat. Uh, I, think there's some, um, I think there's some catacombs and stuff as well, so I might go check them out. 
really curious to what this is. It might be like Roman or something. Because there are obviously people living here on the on this side before the Knights of St John. So that might be whoever lived here before. So yes, it says here this is interesting. So this is Medina. Um, and it's the actual, it was the capital, it's the original capital of Malta uh, before the arrival of the Knights of St. John in 1530. And everything that stands today, products, many interventions, so built over a few hundred years. Well, yeah, this used to be the capital then, before they arrived. So this is interesting, this is, I was going to, I was just going to check out where them old stones were first to see what they were. Take me around to here. It's an old Roman townhouse. Now this that's actually built here isn't like the original, this is just built for like the museum. But uh, I might go check it out on the inside. Uh, it says it's the only remaining townhouse, Roman townhouse. And there are the ruins of it and it says they've got some mosaics and stuff. This is interesting as well. So it was discovered in 1881. And the road that leads down here, just to the right, was cut by the British Army in 1889, and this destroyed parts of the house. So that's this road here that destroyed parts of the house. I apologise on behalf of the British people for doing that. But yeah, that's cool. I didn't realise there was going to be Roman stuff here. So this is footage from inside the museum. Uh, there were there was actually a good decent amount here that you see now like all these um Arab sort of artifacts from be way before like before even the sort of Romans were around you got here like skeletons and stuff they had like these tombstones which you can just see just behind with all like um Arabic script on them really really cool stuff there you go Islamic tombstones really ancient stuff uh inside this museum that was really interesting a lot of cool statues like this you can see as well. Um, oh, the detail was pretty, pretty fantastic on them still, and like they had some great mosaics, really uh, compact ones. You can see that one there. Of course, you've got coins. Basically, any any um, museum that has Roman stuff has coins and pots. So there's always lots of coins and pots left over, but they are good actually. They are interesting. Um, so I'm in Stoke Museum if you bloody come here. Um, but yeah, this was actually a really nice little surprise of a museum. Um, I spent a decent amount of time in here. You got a better view there of the mosaic. Like that's on like the original floor that is. Um, which is pretty incredible that it, you know, it survived that well. You've got these columns and the pillars. Because um, this townhouse is obviously, uh, it was like a really rich house. It's the richest house they've ever sort of found in uh, in Malta. And look at the the carving on that. There is insane just how how detailed that is still to this day. Got more mosaics here, which again for they're really well preserved. Um, yeah, you know you usually don't find them this well preserved, Roman ones. Um, yeah, look at that, absolutely great. Same with the statues. This one we've got the heads missing. The floor again there is like an original floor. That one's pretty badly, you know, damaged. This one's not, there's not a whole lot left. But on the other side, you'll see now, great statue there that's still going. But this side is much better preserved. Apart from the middle bit, if you look at the middle bit, you can see it said something about the, the family running out of money eventually and they sort of had to repair. They think that they repaired the floors with, you know, lesser stone and stuff like that and then this is the outside where you can go and uh, that's with that's the ruins all the ruins that um we saw earlier in the video and this is where it is and i think they're still doing some exca excavating and stuff there so yeah it's a great little museum i'd definitely check it out so that was a roman townhouse which was a nice little surprise i didn't expect to see that um, Cool little museum. The mosaics are like really well preserved. Yeah, there's some interesting stuff there. There's like some um, some uh, like artifacts from the Arab period when the Arabs were here, and like some rings and stuff from the burial stones. 
It was a good little surprise. I'm actually going to head into Medina now, the actual place where I was supposed to come to. And I got distracted by a Roman villa. Beautiful. Certainly some structure this. Oh, it used to be the capital as well. Before the Knights of St John came and started to build other places and cities like Valletta. I wonder if this was like a moat filled with water maybe. That is stunning, that architecture there. It's a very busy place this. But you can see why. I imagine inside it's going to be very oldie worldy. No, it's called the Silent City because no cars are allowed inside. And that's why you have these carriages here that go through. Probably for a small fortune. So let's go on in, see what it's like. detail on the carvings here. <laughs> yeah, this is like stepping back in time, isn't it? It reminds me of a little fish from the get-go, a little bit of carcass on, like a smaller version. That's that kind of vibe. This is more Mediterranean, right? Obviously, French, but... There's a bunch of museums in here, by the looks of it, in a cathedral. And... Let's have a wonder. Said online there was no cars allowed in the city, they blew lying to me. Really? Just seen one drive out. It's not that silent because it's that bloody busy anyway. Balconies here, they're gorgeous. People actually still live in here apparently because there's signs everywhere saying like be quiet and respect the residents. Imagine having a house here. This is the cathedral here. You can see that this building was built by the Knights of St. John with all these crests all still there on them. <laughs> They're really good neck as well, actually, for our old beer, 1500s. I have no idea which church it is, but that was bloody gorgeous. Isn't it? That'll be another one here. Looks like there might be a good viewing point up here. I could have spent the whole day actually just walking around this place as well. There we go, check that out for a view. Basically, be able to see all the highlands from around here because we're in the centre now. We're going to spend the whole day here really, I need to go to Valletta soon. Um, I might get some food here first. There's like a bunch of museums and stuff here. I'm going to try going to the cathedral as well, because the church I went into wasn't the cathedral, so if that's anything, go by. Extremely pretty. Look at this. Feels like one of them places that is just unchanged. They were totally lying about the cars though. There are cars around here. It's not silent at all. There's little tea rooms and restaurants as well, the proper 
Gorgeous, that little ice cream stall. So this is called Fetira. I have no idea, it's like a sandwich type thing, Maltese sandwich that I'm gonna try. It looks good. Very nice and just full, very filling. I love these old streets. This is the cathedral as well here. See if we can take a look inside. entrance is just here but you do have to pay to go in and you have to get it from your ticket from the museum which has like a big art gallery and stuff in as well which would be really cool to do I'd like to do it but I think we're gonna skip it because it's like 10 euros which is a bit steep I can get you both so it's probably worth it really but I'm not I, was, I wasn't gonna do the Cathedral Museum really um, especially because it's like 1 p.m. now and I've got and uh, we do want to get to Valletta soonish, maybe another hour or so here. So I'm going to carry on looking around because um, we've got the catacombs as well, which I might go into now. So we'll probably we're going to have to skip the cathedral. As lovely as it probably is inside, we have already seen one of the churches for free though, and that one was impressive enough. Fancy restaurant in it in there. Bloody hell. Now it feels more like the silent city. If you go down one of these alleyways, are these where most people must just live? Having a house in here. It's incredible. Yeah, this is more like it. Very busy in the main parts but if you go down some of these side streets absolutely gorgeous and suddenly it does become silent very cool place touristy but it's you know worthwhile you can understand why it is just every street you go down is just Beautiful. Except this one with the construction. <laughs> oh well. It's a pretty little square. With an old well. It literally came out of nowhere though. Suddenly everyone's looking at me. I mean you can really imagine. You know, this city has barely changed really electricity and all that kind of stuff but these streets are, will be practically exactly as they were 500 years ago with monks and priests and knights walking down here little orange garden orange trees and these doors Absolutely stunning. Medina, definitely check it out. And then every so often is these little horse and cars riding around. Very cute. Say goodbye to Medina, go find the catacombs. So there's a whole lot more you could actually experience there as well. There's a bunch of museums, there's like a natural history museum there, uh, which I was part of my ticket for the Roman thing, so I could have gone in, but I'd rather do the catacombs because that's part of the ticket as well. There was like a night museum by the Knights of St. John, but I think that was a bit more geared towards kids by the looks of it. Uh, a bit more of a child, child friendly one. Yeah, then there's you know, a bunch of bars, cafes, again the cathedral, um, if you, I imagine it is worth the 10 euros, um, I said it was a bit steep earlier, it probably isn't really because you get, if you're doing the museum as 
as well because the museum has a huge art gallery which is probably really good um, and then the cathedral itself for 10 euros it's not actually that bad but I've just got things I'd rather do than that today and we still got to see a really cool church so Medina very cool place highly recommended hello everyone over here again um, basically just filming another outro because I did not film I did not know that the videos were going to be set out and split up this way when I actually filmed them. Uh, so, yeah, that was the Medina video. Really nice, gorgeous, um, ancient, well, not ancient, medieval capital of um, Malta. Um, that if you get a chance to go, it is very, very pretty. I would definitely love to return and stay there longer because I was only there for probably about an hour and a half, two hours? No, I was there for about two hours at least, at least two hours. Um, but you could stay there for an entire day and explore it properly, go to the museums and all that stuff. Uh, but that was Medina, that video, hopefully you enjoyed it. And uh, the next one uh, will be sort of exploring a little bit of Rabat, which was the sort of city next to it, and then and the catacombs. So it's mainly footage of the catacombs from there, which were really cool. And that I think that'll be a separate video and then there will be one final video, which will be another Valletta video, but more in-depth Valletta. Because uh, I actually got to walk around it properly. Um, unlike the first video I did where I sort of got there in the evening. Uh, so there should be another two videos from Malta before we get back on to the, uh, to the English content. Uh, which I already have some stuff filmed, so I've got like a backlog now of videos to do. Uh, but yeah, that is the Medina video. I hope, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.